you had no siblings, only to reach your 70s and discover you had not one, but three sisters all longing to meet you. Well, that's what happened to Betty Bracey when she was finally tracked down by sisters Gwen Metcalf, Pat Easton and Fran Sharp. The four were separated as babies and toddlers and it's taken seven decades to get the family back together, but there is still one more sister out there and they are desperate to find her. They join us now alongside founders of Finders International, Daniel Curran, to tell us their incredible tale and welcome to all of you this morning. This is an incredible story with many, many twists and turns and actually the beginning of this tale is something of a mystery because you don't exactly know the reason why you were all separated initially, but what, what have you been told? What have you discovered about that time? Um, Nothing really. I, uh, I knew I had sisters at um, 18 or 19 years old when I was living in London at the time. Right. Um, but I didn't know. I didn't know where they were. Mm. Didn't know who they were. Yeah. All I had was a piece of paper from um, uh, Brentwood or Brentford. I'm not sure. It's so long ago. Yeah. Well, um, Pat, because Pat that I had Gwen. Start yes, because did Pat, Pat start the whole thing from? Yeah, from from Daniel's firm founders. So the letter. It, it's what because it happened in stages. So who was the first? To meet who? Who met first? Gwen and I. I met oh, yeah, Fran when we were younger. It. Yeah, um, and uh, and uh, initially um, you were you you couldn't stay together when you were teenagers because um, one of your adoptive parents was quite strict and uh, and actually kept you kept you separated. Said no bad influence, mm. and so so that didn't work out. So you have this set of sisters all over the place. Um, when you finally, and this, this is quite a complicated story as who, who met who and who met who, when you finally all got together, how, how did that feel? Oh, oh describe it. Absolutely <laughs> fantastic. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was so a natural. wonderful thing, Philip, yeah. honestly and holy. And wonderful. And I never thought I'd, I, I'd be honest with you, I never thought that I'd ever find them. Yeah. And also, that first moment when you look across the room and you see each other for the first time, because there is a real similarity between you mm. girls, isn't yes, there? there? So is. was that strange? You must have spent ages just sort of looking in each other's eyes, going, well, you've got my eyes, you've got that. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it was funny, we just sort of hugged and laughed and that was it. The ice was broken and we just got it on. Just it just flowed. It just flowed after brilliant. that, yeah. So we that got on so well. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Which is so... And lovely. I loved... Them. I absolutely loved them. The, loved them to bits. <laughs> Though I've only known them since the 1st of June. Yeah, because like, this is relatively... You were the last yeah. one to come yeah. in. Yeah. 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 I came yeah. up to stay in yeah. Ashford. So, so, Daniel, where did you come into this? Because part of this story is hugely to do with yourself. So tell us where you come in. Yes, we, we had a case. We were contacted by a solicitor who wanted to trace what uh, they thought were the beneficiaries to an estate of a lady called Stella Bishop who passed away last year. And they were in touch with a number of cousins. Um, now, originally we thought the job was to verify the family tree, contact all the cousins, make sure that everyone in title was due to inherit from the estate. But on looking on into it further, we found that the lady had passed away. She'd had two brothers who predeceased her. So there's, there's three more to this family, at least. Uh, and then we found out that Stella's father, Percy, uh, had had subsequent children from a, from a, a later relationship. So it, we then found that there were these four ladies here and a fifth, uh, and that they would be entitled to inherit from the estate. So the original people that contacted us are no longer entitled to inherit. Um, and three of these ladies are because two of them were adopted out of the family, yes. which precludes them inheriting anything from the estate. Ah, uh -huh, I understand. The, uh, um, the thing is that it's not a finished story. Um, no. Because there is, you know, there is Margaret. one more sister, Margaret, the eldest. She's the eldest. She's, the eldest. She's yeah. out there, hopefully, somewhere. Yeah. Um, mm. But but there is a, mm. you can't trace her. No, well, when someone is adopted out of a family, uh, the only person who can access the adoption record is the adoptee themselves. So all we have is a birth certificate with the name, if I can say the name, it's Margaret Elizabeth, born as uh, Pateson, on the 28th of May, 1942. She's been adopted out, so we know she's born as Pateson, but mm. what her name is now, we don't know. She, we presume she may have kept the name Margaret Elizabeth. 
We presume she may have kept her birthday to the 28th of May 1942, but beyond that, we don't How know. How old was she when she was adopted? Do we know that? Would she know she's adopted? No, Could she be no. living a life and not we necessarily... Nothing. We don't know anything. Well, uh, to be honest, I never knew we had another sister. So how would she know? A uh, clue that my sister's here. Yeah. yeah. That I knew then. Do you... There is a link to Coventry, isn't there? You think that That's the la that was the last... The last time That's that, that heard. You, you heard was that she could be in Coventry. Oh. Yes. So you, you say now to anyone who thinks that there might be something in their life that rings a bell to get mm -hmm. in touch yep. because she may have this whole family Yes. Sitting on the sofa, waiting to embrace her, yeah. like yeah. you guys have, um, and it really does mean a lot to all of you. All of us, yes, it does. certainly does. And also mm. to get to get you all together for for the first time in God knows how many years would be quite an incredible moment for you, I imagine. Oh. Well, that that would be our own flesh and blood all together if we yeah. could oh, find yeah. Margaret. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It would wow, indeed. Nice. <laughs> it would definitely be nice. Well, we will Hopefully follow this story intently. Thank you very much Thank for coming you. in today. Thank Lovely you, to meet you. Lovely Thank you. 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 Thank you.